Whether you're a fan of the Olympics or not, you have to admit that seeing athletes win a medal is always a very touching moment, especially if the athletes are young. So we thought it's the right time to bring you a top 10 with the youngest Olympic medalist of all time. Are you ready for a trip down memory lane? Well, prepare yourselves because you're soon going to be wondering what you did at their age and then shaking your head. Are you ready? Let's go. Number one, Demetrius Londras. At the time of winning, 10 years and 216 days old, he's the youngest medalist and competitor in Olympic history and with a life story that would leave you speechless. Demetrius Londras was born on September 6, 1885 and competed in the 1896 Summer Olympics in Athens in the Team Parallel Bars event. Londras was a member of the Ethnikos Gymnasticos Sologos team that placed third in the event, giving him a bronze medal and making him the youngest confirmed Olympian in history. Afterwards, he became an officer in the Royal Hellenic Navy and fought in World War I and then was recalled to active service during World War II. What a life. Number two, Lugenia Giovatti. At the time of winning, he was 11 years, 301 days old. Lugina Giovatti was born on October 12, 1916 and competed in the 1928 Summer Olympics as part of the Italian gymnastics team. Her grace and talent made her win the silver medal, making her the youngest medalist of the Amsterdam Games, but also the youngest female Olympic medalist of all time. Since her record can't be beaten anymore because the current rules for gymnasts in the Olympics say you must be at least 16 years old to compete. That's how you make history, my friends. Right place, right time, right age, and lots and lots of talent combined with hard work. Not easy, is it? Number three is Ing Srensen. At the time of winning, 12 years, 21 days old. Ing Srensen was known as Lily Hervinage Ing, or Little Lovely Ing to her fans, and was born on the 18th of July, 1925, and was a Danish swimmer. She competed in the 1936 Summer Olympics in Berlin in the 200-meter breaststroke and won the bronze medal. She was the youngest athlete to win an Olympic medal in an individual competition, but the little lovely Ing didn't stop there. She went on to win nine Danish championships, two Nordic championships, and one European championship. Nothing could stop her apart from World War II, which made her cut her career short and move to the USA with her husband. Number four is Noelle Vandernot. At the time of winning, 12 years, 230 days old. Noelle Vandernot was born on the 25th of December, 1923. Woo, hard birthday date. He competed in the 1936 Summer Olympics and won the bronze medal at the French boat in the Coxe pairs as well as in the Cox Four competition. He wasn't only the youngest male medalist at the 36 games, he was, and still is, the youngest French Olympic medalist of all time. Amazing record for an amazing athlete. Number five is Carla Marangioni. At the time of winning, 12 years, 269 days old. Carla Marangioni, or Clara as he became known, was born on the 13th of November 1915 and competed in the 1928 Summer Olympics. The Italian gymnast won the silver medal as a member of the Italian gymnastics team, making her among the first Italian women to win an Olympic medal. Another amazing record is she was the last surviving athlete from the 1928 Summer Games, and she died on the 18th of January, 2018, at 102 years old. Number six is Dorothy Poynton Hill. At the time of winning, Dorothy was 13 years and 23 days old. Dorothy Poynton Hill was born on July 17, 1915, and she competed at the 1928, 1932, and the 1936 Summer Olympics. The diver from Salt Lake City managed to win the 10-meter platform event in 1923 and 1936, while in the 3-meter springboard she took a silver in 1928 and a bronze in 1936. Are you confused with all those dates? Well, just keep in mind that in 1928 she was the youngest Olympian to win a medal, and in 1936 the, the first Olympic diver to win the 10-meter platform twice. Number seven is Rayasa Leal. At the time of winning, 13 years and 204 days old, we take a huge jump forward in time and we're landing on the 4th of January, 2008. 
which is the day when Riasa Leal was born. This Brazilian skateboarder won the silver medal at the 2020 Summer Olympics and was dubbed a Fadinha do Skate, translated roughly as the Little Fairy of Skating. She was the youngest Olympic medal winner in more than 60 years and also the youngest Brazilian medalist. In fact, if the Olympics haven't been postponed, she might have been the third youngest medal winner ever. Number eight is Marjorie Gestring. At the time of winning, 13 years, 268 days old. Marjorie Gestring was born on November 18, 1922. Yep, you guessed it right. We're going back in time again. She won the gold medal in the three-meter springboard diving at the Summer Olympics in Berlin in 1936 and became the youngest person ever to win an Olympic gold medal. The American springboard diver, though, didn't stop there. She became a multi-time national diving champion in the U.S. and was given a second Olympic gold medal by the U.S. Olympic Committee after the 1940 Summer Olympics were called off due to World War II. Number nine is Klaus Zerta. At the time of winning, 13 years, 280 days old. Klaus Zerta was born on the 25th of November, 1946, and currently 74 years of age and a retired German rowing coxswain. In the 1960 Summer Olympics, he was part of the West German team that won gold medals in the Cox Pair event, competing for the United Team of Germany. He was the youngest confirmed male gold medalist in Olympics. Number 10 is Namiji Nishia. At the time of winning, 13 years, 330 days old, Namiji Nishia was born on the 30th of August, 2007, in Japan, and little did she know she would become a legendary skateboarder. Nishia is the youngest person to ever win a gold medal for Japan, and also the winner of the first ever gold medal in the women's street competition. In the 2020 Summer Olympics, she made all of us clap for her and cheer her on, not only because of the records she currently holds, but because of her superb abilities and excellent results. This is one for the history books, my friends. Well, there you have it for today. These were the top 10 youngest Olympic medalists of all time. Which one was your favorite and why? Let us know in the comments and don't forget, give the video a like and then subscribe to our channel with your notifications on. We'll see you next time.